It's Carl. Happy Tuesday to you. Today I want to just make a quick video to discuss the idea of being an expert. One of the things that you'll find as you develop your expertise, you don't have to sell near as hard as you once did. Meaning you don't have to convince people to take action on your recommendations, the things that you offer and you sell. You simply let your expertise be the motivating factor in the mind of the other person. So the real question is, how do you develop expertise? Well, first of all, you have to become a student of whatever your field, your niche is gonna be. And let me be clear on this, you can be an expert in a wide variety of topics. What you need to understand is in the marketplace, you want to create a unique brand for each area of expertise. So in my life, I have expertise in the world of internet marketing, and so there is a brand that goes along with that. I have expertise in the world of church ministry. There is a brand that goes along with that. I have expertise in the area of real estate, <clears throat> excuse me, real estate investing, and there is a brand that goes along with that as well. So the way all of these areas of expertise get developed is first of all, experience, just simply getting out there and doing it, learning how to do things out in the field, figuring out what works, figuring out what doesn't work. Second piece of this is you become a lifelong student. You're always studying. You're always fine tuning. You're always learning more. Much of my day is spent reading. It's spent learning. It is spent doing trial and error figuring out the little adjustments that make things work that much better. These are the things that bring about expertise. One of the things I often tell a consulting prospect, there are many people you could hire. There are very few who are experts. Most people know theory. Very few are practitioners. I am a practitioner. That's one of the things that sets me apart. My clients know that before I put anything in front of them, I've already been testing it with my own money, with my own businesses, with my own products. And so that is valuable to them. And so when I make a recommendation, when I say you need to spend money here, there's not really any resistance to that because they trust the expertise. But the expertise doesn't come immediately. It's something that has to be nurtured and developed over time. So here's the challenge that I want to make to you. First of all, are you reading constantly? Are you reading? Are you doing things to sharpen your skill sets, to sharpen your mindset, to expand your horizons? Secondarily, what are you doing, quote unquote, in the laboratory? What are the things that you're trying out, that you're testing, that you're refining, that you can bring to your clients, your customers, to the marketplace, to create greater value? And then finally, are you branding your expertise? Do people know that you are the very best at what you do, that you are an expert and authority in your field? And if you're not, then you need to make those words a part of your language. I am an expert and authority in my field. Anyway, those are a few thoughts for you today. Hope you have an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon.